Good morning, y'all. Don't mind me. It's Thursday day. It's about 4.15. Um, I'm about to get in the shower, watch the Biggie Bacana. Let me show y'all. And then I'm going to double wash with dial antibacterial. So. Um, and then we'll be on the road. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm out of the shower. Um, I just have on a roll, nothing under it. I'm about to take off all my jewelry. And I'm supposed to come in any jewelry. All my piercings, my nose, my tongue, everywhere else. Uh, I switched out last night when I took a shower. And then we're gonna set up the bed, okay? Now, I have a shower curtain under here already, so I'm just going to hold off on putting the... I was going to put the other one on top, but then I thought about it, like, that one's really going to slide because I have satin sheets, so... Um, I was able to tuck that other one as I showed y'all, but the top, like, it would just be too much. So I'm just going to put this one and save the other one, you know, just in case for a replacement for the bottom. And I'm only doing this on one side. Um, and this is obviously because I sleep with a partner. I mean, he works overnight, but when he comes home from work in the morning, I don't want him to have to lay on any pads or anything. And people do use the PP pads for this. Um, we did not get PP pads only because a lot of them are scented and you want unscented pads to lay on. Now I'm gonna move these pillows to the other side because I know it's gonna be uncomfortable. If you're looking at this, then you see how big it is. You gauge whether you want this side or the extra large. I knew this size would be best for me because again, like I'm doing only one side, so. And again, I'm only doing the top. Down here are my feet. My feet are not gonna be bleeding, so. I don't need to put a pad at the tippy tip end of my bed. I have a king size bed. My feet do not reach anywhere near there. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do four just to make sure. And then I'm going to put one right here on the floor when I stand out of bed. And then I'm going to do one in the bathroom as well. Okay. Beds all set. All right. Like I said, I'm going to put one on the floor right here for when I stand up. I'm going to put some walkway like out into the, um, like the bathroom. But I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, I'm just gonna put one in the bathroom and yeah. So we are about to leave the house. Okay guys, so we are about uh, four minutes away from the center. So um, yeah, uh, I will see y'all when I get in there. I'm, I don't know, I don't think I'm nervous yet. Not yet, probably once I get inside. I'll be nervous when I'm not nervous yet. So, and my mouth is dry as fuck. My lips is dry as fuck. I want to have some gum. My mom's like, I don't think you should. So, I'm just dry as fuck right now. So, and I'm hungry. So, yeah, not in the greatest of condition right now, but it's all right. It's for a good cause. See y'all in a little bit. Hi, little huffy.
Yeah. Mom, what? I'm saying that. I'm just so crazy. What are you doing? We gotta get there. So this is where they came and took my phone, y'all. So that's all I got. got a lot of pain medication going on in me right now. So this is for tomorrow. Today's meeting is Sunday. This is my sister. Okay. Oh, this is her sister recording. Yo, you gotta sit down, Mama. Mama. Y'all in the people way. Okay, definitely. Go ahead and go ahead. Ma, you're gonna have to move up a little bit. They still not gonna be able to get away. Go to the door. Go to the door. It hurt? You gotta put the knees up. Yeah, you gotta put your knees up. Okay. You good? <laughs> Say hi to the camera. She can't. <laughs> I need you to talk to me for hey a second. Hey guys, and we are out. Mm. He was able to get Pierre. Well, Pierre has got herself in the car, as y'all can see. You okay, baby? Oh, 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 oh. You see her legs? You want me to roll the window up? Yeah, well. <laughs> oh my God, I was in that bitch like, oh hell no. When they first brought me out, Oh, the pain gonna go away. I was in that bitch screaming, no, no, please. I know the lady next to me was like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. Cause I'm like, no, I need some more morphine. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought this was. Really? Yeah, it hurt when I first got out. And then it was cold in there. I'm shivering in pain. I'm like, oh fuck no. Give me some more morphine. Not my ass. Break the fuck up. Oh man, I'm on the shit. I'm on the sun pass thing. Oh, shit, let me see. Alright, I was recording. Yeah, I think I gotta get on my knees. I can't lay like this. <laughs> my butt cheeks hurt so bad. Oh my god. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm like. Oh. Alright, guys, I'm picked up. <sighs> so, let me just give y'all a rundown. Um, I look crazy. Look at this. Like, look at this. She said this happened from anesthesia. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I must have been in their fight. They must have been fighting for war or something because I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my lip. 
Um, usually people's faces be swollen, but my lip is like swollen. So I prefer my eyes to be swollen than my goddamn lip like this. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Now you hot. Yeah. First you cold. <clears throat> and I laid down first, but honestly, I need my faha to be fixed when I get to the house. My butt doesn't feel like it's fully in the hold, so it's hurting laying down. So I got up on my knees. Um, when I was in recovery, I'm not going to lie. I had to give them, get them to give me a double dose of morphine because coming out of surgery, I don't know what the fuck it felt like. Like, everything was literally in pain. Huh? You're annoying. <laughs> everything was literally in pain when I came out of surgery. So they gave me another dose of morphine, and then I knocked the fuck out. And then they woke me up. And now I'm going home. I'm freaking starving. I'm gonna, I can only do soft foods today. So I'm gonna get a smoothie bowl. Healthy shit, you know? And yeah, so I will see y'all when we get to the house. Oh, that's where they probably put an incision. The life of a BBL. <laughs> okay. The butt look like it's matching the, the legs. <laughs> The bed is matching the legs. And yeah, go. Don't start, Ori. Ori, you. Look like you about to shoot. Yeah, I'm about to have the fish up here. This shit hurts so bad, I'm sorry. All right, get to the room first. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh. I thought you were trying to take stuff off. Let you lay down for a little bit, then we get you back up in like two hours or so, walk again. You see your mommy, Oreo? Hi, Boogie. Hi, Boogie. Because I have to do all this later. I didn't do. You gotta do it before surgery. You just gonna do sleep on this? I did this this morning. Oh, you did it this morning? I only did my plastic. Can you give me my nightgown? Where, where is it? In the bucket. Oh, you want me to stop the is camera? This one? Oh. I'm going to just blur it out. I'll blur it out. Blur it out. Her titties. Oh. All right, well, I can't blur it out in mine. I need you to help me. Hold on, hold on. Help me fix the vibe. It's not on my butt. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh my God. It's, I need, I need, it hurt. I need it in there. Uh, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. Oh God. Fucking hurts. Shit. Oh. 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 I'm afraid it's gonna hurt you. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, uh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, my God, that hurts. Uh. Is she gonna drill? I'm drilling. I'm about to pull. Wait, wait, wait. I'm scared. It hurts. Okay, go. Do I have to pull? Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, I 
because that's bad. And I was like, three X. I don't need no three X. She said, no, our three X is not. This is a three X. This is supposed to be a three X. I wear extra small. So what a ten X look like? This is what, what I'm the saying. Shit? <laughs> like what the fuck? You got a three eggs? What am I gonna have? A six eggs? How does blood look though? It looks it good. My body? From here, yeah. You can't even really tell. It, yeah. But it looks bigger it than what the fuck her butt already. was. It does? Yeah. I like it. It looks good. Smack it. He, he took my hips. <laughs> he took <laughs> my hips. I told him he could take them if he needed to. I just wanted to upside With down. With that? Like, this? No, no, no. My hip dips went upside Oh. Is it round? He took my hip dips or do it, they, they still there? I don't know what I'm looking for. No, they still. They still there, right? A little bit. Yeah, I Let me see, lift it up a little bit. Oh, this is bleeding. Yeah, I'm just bleeding everywhere. I just it hurts bad. Ugh, we gotta change that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you want me to call? See if I can call and order the smoothie bowl so you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I don't even know where to go, but I can look it's it up. It's right there near T-Mobile. We all have to go. It's in the same parking lot. Later, so I can end the video. But I want my. I don't want to wait till y'all done. I want my smoothie bowl. Yo, are you serious? Yeah, he wants I'm to drive hungry. back. It's right down the street. I'm hungry. Lay the fuck down so I can stop I this. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Oh. Okay. I'm going to lay this way so I can watch TV. Can you give me that pillow? Who pillow? Yeah, you know what? That's fine. That, that's fine. My password the pillow? The what? Oh, the pillow. I thought you said pull up. Oh, yeah. Pull up. 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 Okay. Oh, why don't you fold it up? So it's up? No, no, it's going to be my back hurt. Yeah, I'm going to get a slap on this. Oh. Oh, shit. Can't. Is this, can I slap on this? Yeah, yeah, that's for the floor, for when I drip. When I get up. Oh. 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 Okay, let me find out you got a hump when you lay down now. It's not no pancakey. Oh. Cake, 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 cake. What kind of day? I gotta get up for an hour. Oh gosh. That hurt? So I'm up now. Let's just a little quicker. I'm up. This is my first time getting up since surgery. Look at my lip, y'all. I don't know what the fuck, what? And my tongue is numb. But I'm gonna do some walking. Oh, so I just wanna show y'all too. I don't have much um, drainage neither. That's what I have so far, so not much. I just got a protein bowl. I ordered from Smoothie King. Smoothie bowl, I mean. So I just want to give you an update. <clears throat> this is now my third or fourth time being up walking every hour since I got home. Um, and I'm just walking around my room, really. So um, as y'all can see, I'm walking. 
I'm walking okay. I mean, like, I'm not, I see a lot of ladies, they be like hunched over. I'm not having that issue. I'm keeping myself upright pretty well, um, which I want to, because I have a very crooked spine for my scoliosis. So I don't need to be bent over. That's just gonna give me more back pain. Right now, the only thing that's in pain is my butt cheeks. Definitely feel like I squatted a little bit. You can definitely feel the uh, stretching sensation in my skin, in my butt. And then as for my stomach, um, and right here, right here on the sides and the stomach, when I lay down, that shit hurts. But like, as I'm up walking now, talking to you guys, it doesn't hurt at all. It's only when I lay down on it, on the um, bed that that hurts. Um, Y'all can see I look beat up. My lips still swollen. And my tongue is completely numb. So uh, hopefully I get that feeling back tomorrow. <laughs> um, and I have my uh, appointment time. The appointment time for the uh, my massages tomorrow is 9 a.m. And then I'll have my pre-op after that. But like I said, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, you know, I'm doing really well. Walking fine. They prescribed me oxys, which my mom and sister are picking up for me now. Um, this is what they told me to take only for today, though. You're not allowed to take the oxys or anything today because, you know, they put me on anesthesia. So these are the only ones that I was allowed to take today, which I only needed one dose. So I am good. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, y'all. So I'm back with another update. Um, y'all can see my lip going down a little bit. My tongue is still swollen. Um... I just laid back down from walking. So when I'm up walking, I'm not in like any crazy pain. As I said before, laying down on the stomach does give me a little discomfort. But like right now, it's not in pain. What is in pain while I'm laying down is my butt cheeks. Like literally, it feels like. So like I said, a lot of people say it feels like squats. I can't really say it feels like squats because squats your whole butt be hurting but for me it's like the bottom part and the sides where he really filled in i literally feel like my skin is stretched there so when i'm walking when i'm laying it just hurts <laughs> the butt just hurts but um i took these about an shit i don't know what time i took them now that i'm thinking about it but these are every eight hours. So I know I won't need this until 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And I definitely took it before 4 o'clock. So yeah. I won't need another one of these for tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I have my oxys tonight and my um, antibiotics. And then tomorrow I can start taking the oxy and the antibiotic. Like before my surgery. I'm gonna have me a good breakfast, and then before my surgery, I'm taking my motherfucking um, oxy. Cause let me tell you, when I stand, or I should say, go to lay back in the bed, and I lift my leg, my conch, oh my god, it feels like there's mad fluid that just went down there, and it fucking hurts, like. But only when I lift my leg to, like, get in the bed. That shit hurt. I know tomorrow when she spews all that fluid out, I'm being that bitch dying. So, I'm definitely going to take my uh, oxys beforehand. Um, and the nurse practitioner told me, no fonta still. Huh? Oh. Um, so, I was just telling him, he's rolling up for me not to put any fonta because... It still is tobacco, and y'all already know how this goes. Tobacco, nicotine, cotinin. So all that uh, constricts your blood vessels and stops he optimal healing. So um, if you were smoking it beforehand, keep that in mind for after the fact, too. You don't want to just start smoking it right away. Um, and if you can stay off of it, stay off of it. All right, guys. It's now um, a little after 5. I think it's like 5 45 
I got up at 5.30 to do my walk again, but I just wanted to show y'all um, my medicine that I got. Lips still a little swollen. Um, pain is manageable. My butt is still very sore. As I told y'all standing up, my stomach is fine. It's just when I lay down, it's a little uncomfortable. But really, like standing here talking to you guys, it's just the butt that hurts. That's it. So what is this? So this is... Let me see something though, because none of these are supposed to have acetaminophen in them. And I just want to make sure. Oh, it does have acetaminophen in it. Okay, it just says don't take too much. All right, whatever. Um, so the instructions are take one to two tablets by mouth every six hours or as needed for the pain. And I got 24 of those. And then, let's see about the other one. This is the antibiotic. So I am um, allergic to Ceftin, which is an antibiotic. And Ceftin falls under the category of um, Y'all, I keep about to sit my hand on my head and it hurts. Fuck. Um, Cessin is a brand of a type, is a type of um, antibiotic, but just to be on the safe side, he gave me a whole different like subcategory of um, antibiotics so that I didn't have any, you know, reaction to anything that was in the same wheelhouse as Cessin. And this, is five doses, five daily doses, unit of six tablets. This says, take as directed. Bitch, y'all ain't give me no directions. How you gonna tell me take it as directed, but they ain't say shit. Yeah, it just says, so I'm assuming, let me read this box. Take two tablets today as your first dose. Then take one tablet on each of the next four days to complete your therapy. So that's why there's six tablets. I'm gonna take two today. And then for the next four days, I'm gonna take one a day. So that's that. So matter of fact, let me do that now while I'm on here with you guys. I just got me filled up my water bottle again. I just ordered a new one on Amazon. You know, one of the little cute ones. But, um, so water bottle? Yeah. 126 ounce one but i'm gonna put some more lymphatic drops in my new batch of water so one drop one pump one pump and you see how they show you specifically one little drop is approximately 22 drops and then the suggested use is taking up to 30 drops which is one milliliter to uh, one to three times a day. So if you're thinking about it, you basically just wanna give yourself, cause if it's 22 drops for one drop, you're not gonna get to 30, obviously, that's an um, uneven number. So two drops would be equivalent to 44 drops. So just tell yourself basically, if you're gonna use the lymphatic drops this kind, to do two, one to two, two drops in your water, one to three times a day. So let's say if you got your 126 ounce water bottle, you drink that whole thing two or three times a day, put your two drops in all three times that you fill up your water bottle. So that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, this one. All right, so I'm gonna just show y'all. Y'all, I got a lot of fluid in my mom's pubis and it hurts so fucking bad. See how big her water bottle is? And then I'm just gonna take it's brown, but I promise y'all, it does not have a taste. I'm does it put... make the water brown? No. Now, because this is a big, big water bottle, I'm gonna do like one, two, three, four, five. I did five. Um, I mean, it's lymphatic drainage. I don't think it'll kill you. 
um, if you do more than that a day in your water bottle. But like being that I did five, I probably won't do it again when I do when I fill it up. You know what I'm saying? Again, but um, it's for lymphatic drainage. So it's not gonna kill you. The most that'll probably happen is that you're gonna run through these because this is the one it tells you. Where is it? It's up to a one month supply. So the most that'll happen is that you run through it. That's about it. So let me take this pill. Need the top right here so I could just shake it. And again, I'll show you how the water bottle, it did not change the color of the fluid. Shaking it, cause it's a mental thing. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you just feel like you gotta shake it to get it dispersed evenly. All right, so let's take our first set. Now again, the first day, you're gonna take two tablets and then one per day after that. What pill is this? This is the antibiotic. So. Oh, and that's cute. I love how they count them out for you. So you have your two you take in, day two, three, four, and five. That's it. So it really is not rocket science. All right. All right. Got that down. Um, they told me not to take an oxy today, so like I said, I took one of <laughs> You are so sorry. Because my butt cheeks hurt. <laughs> they do. But it's like, I really don't need it. Because I'm not in a crazy amount of pain. On a scale it's just from 1 to 10, how bad the pain is? On a scale 1 to 10, I'd probably say I'm like a, a cool 7. And that's only because my butt and my mom's pubis is, 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 is tearing up right now. For all y'all who don't know what a mom's pubis is, it's the fatty kunk kunk part of the coochie. So that part hurts. But uh, other than that, in the butt, I am good. I'm gonna, let me just put this stuff up here. You wanna toss this in the trash behind the game? Yeah, you want the pads changed right now, please? Um, not really, because like, y'all, I be seeing videos of people leaking so bad, and it could be because he put one under my faja. Like, I'll show y'all that, matter of fact. He put one under my faja, so that one is bloody, you know? Um. You can see I'm bruising a little bit. So that one is bloody, but I see a lot of people like on the bed leaking and for some reason I'm not, but let me show you how much I've been leaking so far. So this is it. Like, I mean, literally that is it. I haven't changed these. I haven't did anything since I came home. These are the ones that have been on the bed and it's literally nothing yeah, basically you're up, top. up top exactly so i find that kind of funny but um yeah so that's the bed now my biggest hurdle <laughs> is trying to figure out what i'm gonna eat for dinner it's supposed to be something low sodium obviously high protein everything that's in this bitch we cook tuna, right? is sodium the tuna the the mayo oh, high sodium um, we made chicken the other night. We used the seasonings in the kitchen. Mad fucking sodium. So I'm trying to find out. I think I might get me some sushi or something for tonight. And then I've been looking at these. Um, you know the people that do the meal prep? Um, they send you the frozen meals for the week and you just put it in the oven. I think I'm about doing that just to make sure I get something that's low sodium and high protein. Because he told me to make sure I'm eating high protein diet after for like the first two weeks and no dieting. So, yeah. But that is the stitch, guys. I just wanted to come back, give you another update. Uh, this is the first day, so, so I really want to give y'all as many updates as possible. Um, you know, I'm sure every day I'll be going through different stuff. But as of right now, I'm doing all right. So I will see y'all later. Y'all, when I tell y'all lifting my legs to get on this bed, it fucking hurts my pussy. Not my pussy, my mom's pubis, okay? Ugh. Uh, I, I lifted that one too high. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Okay. Come on, come straighten up. Uh, uh. Stop that and then we start it. Come on. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. Uh. Woo. Oh, yeah, that's getting me. That's getting me. I'm about ready to go get 
go get released of all this fucking fluid. I'm ready. Are you serious? Yeah, because this fluid is what's doing it. Yeah, make sure you record that too. I'm trying. You let me. I don't know. Yeah, I can't wait to see because I don't know why my mom's pubis is so. I didn't know they like. I mean, did he like on my coochie? I ain't think that. <laughs> so I don't know. Do you think you have like a catheter or something there? No, I would fuck that. My clip would be. Not my clip, but you know what I'm saying. I would have felt the pain. That's why I was telling mom. you reach out. And I, as I told y'all, keep it straight. A lot of females when they walk, like now that I'm up, again, only pain I'm having is my butt cheeks. I'm fine now that I'm up. It's just getting in the bed, getting up, and then lifting that knee up with the extra skin. Let me fix this real quick. I'm about to eat this banana because I'm getting hunger pains, and that's one thing they said not to do. But I'm still trying to figure out what to eat, y'all. I want to make sure I'm eating something low sodium and all the shit I got got sodium. So I'm going to do one of those. I've been looking at um, the meal prep thing where they send you it frozen. You tell them exactly what you want or what you need. And they send you it frozen. So I'm going to do that going forward. But for tonight and tomorrow, I need to figure out what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm walking. And I'm eating this for them. Ooh. Oh, shit. You take a lot out of you getting up. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And my tongue is still numb as fuck. Your yeah, what? Tongue? Mm -hmm. Oh. Isn't it gonna be until like tomorrow? Probably. And these compression socks. They ain't compression socks. I will put mine on. But boy, and the pre op shit. And when she called me, when I spoke to her today, they overemphasize. Do not take anything off. Come in here in the same stuff you got here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Only thing different is I'm gonna have on this gown. I already have the gown. Exactly where my butt hurt. So, mm. oh, first of all, when I first left, my um, so when I left the surgery center, my cheeks was not fully in this hole. So I had my mom earlier that I saw help me because it wasn't, it wasn't giving. So now I just periodically just keep pulling to make sure, cause it hurts when it's on my butt. Like, and then right here is where it hurts. Right at the bottom, like I was telling y'all, like where I think he's, like the skin is stretched the most is where I, obviously it hurts the most. Like up here is not sore. It's just really down here. It was really down here and around right here. And it's like, I think it gave me some hips, y'all. And I mean, I'm fine with it, but I think I got some hips. But again, what I don't like is, this is very tight on my hips. So this is gonna do nothing but make this, you know, make me lose more fat. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go to Pretty Girl Fly, um, Curves when I leave Miami and get my stage two to get out of this one. Cause, or no, well, once I get out of this one, this one I'm gonna just, um, after I wash, I'm gonna rig this one up the way I need to. Um, cut this out probably.
Because what I plan on doing is, I plan on buying two Fajas and just getting them taken in. I'm not, you know, I want to wear my Faja. He suggests only for a month, but I want to wear it for as long as possible to maximize my results. And we'll be getting them taken in as we, you know, go down. So right now, I'm still very swollen on the top, as y'all can see. Like, very swollen up here. Oh, I'm just so, and then this is this side again. But, hey guys, you felt that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been moving, and that's she. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I may or may not come back again tonight. Um, like I said, I'm just showing y'all any and. I'm just pressing record anytime I think of something I want to show y'all something so that like I said I want y'all to be see and know everything so um I may or may not be back again tonight but if not y'all already know so I'm whispering because Gary's sleeping but I got me a chicken salad with eggs and um onions and feta cheese from Wawa and then just got a fruit salad for later but yeah that's what i'm eating for dinner today don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to follow along in this journey with me